Hey, welcome to Vlogmas Day 3, December 3rd, and this is going to be a crazy one because it's barely light and we're already getting ready to get on the road. Good morning, it is 7.15 and we are all packed and ready. My first gig is what time, Mama? Uh, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock where? Uh, we're going to Wolfville Horton High School. Why hey. isn't that focusing on you? I don't know, because I'm out of focus. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm not sure why we're not auto-focusing. I'll check that in a second. But yeah, so 9 o'clock, we're on, or I'm on stage at Horton, so we are going to get into the car. Denise already put all her luggage in and stop for a Starbucks coffee um, and then head to our first gig. All right, so for those of you who aren't from here, you're going to think that, like, Nova Scotia is just gray all the time. I actually have the flashlight from my phone shining on my face to light me up, even though it's like 20 to 8 in the morning. Anyway, we are on the road on a rainy day. I've got my liquid breakfast, stopped and picked up a, a coffee at Starbucks, and uh, headed to the valley, hoping we're going to get there alive. Bad drivers. Oh, look, the light's flashing now. Great. I'll just get rid of it and show you how icky it is outside. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're dealing with and people are driving like maniacs and I'm not um, I'm kind of a nervous driver to begin with so it's very stressful for me when other drivers are being yucky But that's what you gotta deal with now look I can see once again that I am not auto focusing so I'm gonna work on that folks and uh, Denise will probably show you a bit of what's happening when I'm in Horton High. Okay, I can't stand road trips, quite frankly. And uh, I hate flying, but driving can sometimes be more treacherous. I'm gonna try to focus in. Can you see that right there? That is a major crack in our windshield. That just happened when a transport went by and friggin' threw rocks at And threw rocks at the windshield. That was traumatic, wasn't it, baby? It was. We have arrived here at Horton High. This school is one of my favorite places on earth. Uh, they just have the most incredible um, student spirit. They believe in kindness, which is what I'm here to talk to them about. I have heard instances of transgendered students actually moving, their families moving, so that they could attend this school because this school is so inclusive and kind and welcoming. And what I'm here for is every year the grade 12 students put on a day for the grade 9 students to say, hey, this is the kind of school that we have created and this is what we expect you to continue and it has been uh what do you think denise how many years have i been coming i think this is the fourth or fifth now fourth or fifth year that i've been here at horton high for this great day that they have and we've been tweeting with the students all day yesterday so looking forward to it today we're going to get parked and head on in horton high Horton Here's Horton High. Going into the front doors. There's Candy. Hi, Candy. <laughs> Here we go. We're going in. Oh, look at the great display they've got. Very cool. Very festive. This is why I love this school. Check out this artwork. Awesome. Look, even the multicolored handprint, like a rainbow, but then the multicolored one. This is why I love this school. This this is like such a good school. I'd want to go here if I was still in high school. Okay. So here's the auditorium where kids are gonna fill in here. They fill this whole auditorium and Kenny will be on stage and we'll get you some shots from and there. These are the grade 12s. They actually put the day on for the grade nine. So they are no doubt coming to run a practice of their dance routine because they always do a dance routine yes. at the beginning before I talk. Fantastic. So these are these are all the student leaders here at Horton. So these are the grade 12s that organize the day for the grade 9s. 
And those t-shirts they're wearing, they design all those t-shirts themselves. They're hand painted. I'll try to zoom in on a few. They're all hand painted t-shirts. They're incredible. Oh, here. We'll get this one up close. Um, this is like, there's always one standout t-shirt every year. And check this one out. All the hands on the Thanks, I'll, I'll do a poem. Cool. And she awesome. freehanded it. Yep, I sure cool. did. <laughs> In the valley, there's this amazing little school called Horton High. Um, and that's the, uh, that's always for me what I use as the example of how to do diversity right. And I don't have children, but if I did, I would move here so they could come to this school. As if singing happy birthday wasn't enough, they gave me a beautiful piece of my favorite cheesecake as an early birthday cake. Huh, if I haven't said it already, I absolutely love Horton High. And this is how life on the road goes. I do a gig and then it's time to let the doggies out to pee because this is a family act. And Chopper and Bruiser and Pearl. They will have a little runabout and pee, and then they'll load back into the car, and we will hit the road for Sydney K. Breton. So we made a quick stop here at uh, Boston Pizza. Say hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> she hates being on camera or in the spotlight, and the students at Orton High made her get on the stage. It was hilarious. Anyway, we're starving because we've been up since really early and didn't eat breakfast, so we're going to have some quick lunch and then continue on the way to Sydney. It's Pasta Tuesday here at Boston Pizza, <laughs> so we'll show you what we got. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a loser. I, we were so hungry, I didn't even show you guys um, what we had. This is what's left of our salads. Denise had an iced tea. We both had the Caesar salad. I had water with mine. I had the spaghetti and meatballs, which used to be right here. Um, and Denise had the penne pasta uh, that looks like uh, almost like nachos but anyway mine was huge so I just ate one meatball I mean we're talking massive meatballs one meatball and a little bit of the pasta and I'm getting them to package up I'll heat it up in the hotel later tonight so we're gonna just uh, you know use the washroom get uh, straightened away here pay our bill and get back on the road and head for Cape Breton so we are at the uh, causeway on our way to Cape Breton. I always love this kind of mountain right here. It comes right up out of the water. They've been mining it for ages for I don't know what, but for some reason, whenever we come across here, I always think about when Europeans first arrived and how um, majestic and breathtaking it must have been to be in a boat in the water and looking and that's coming straight up out of the water. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, when I was a little kid, this was not here. You had to catch a little ferry across to Cape Breton. And I think I was about five or six when they built this causeway. But there are days um, when the weather's really bad, <clears throat> the wind coming in from out there, and it just, <clears throat> excuse me, it comes right up over the road here. It gets pretty intense to say the least. Signs coming up. The sign is coming up to say welcome to Cape Breton. Cape Breton. It's a lovely little island. I've, I couldn't island. count the number of times I've been here. Yes. I do a lot of work up here. There's a sign right above the bridge there. Welcome to Cape Breton. Uh, I probably can't catch that. It's too fast. But. Anywho, this is it. 
if you are ever coming east for vacation and it's summer particularly uh, do not go away without getting up here because um, we're taking a direct route because we have to get to where we're going because I'm going on stage tonight but the Cabot Trail is spectacular and in the summer when the sun's shining it's just something else we're taking the St. Peter's Highway route because it's a little faster older and crappier roads but faster I actually stayed in that little hotel up there once <laughs> That was quite an experience, to say the least. I had the honeymoon suite. It was, yeah, rustic. So this is the ski hill up here in Cape Breton. It's uh, a little higher than what you can see. The fog has got the top of it kind of covered in. But we're stopping here for a quick pee break for the puppies because we're only about... 10-15 minutes from downtown Sydney now where our hotel is where we will be checking in we just like how rude you taping me peeing Chopper likes a little more privacy which she's over there in the deeper grass it's kind of funny but anyway I am tired I hate these when I have to get up really early drive to one location and then drive for all those hours it makes my hips really sore and now I gotta check in and have a few minutes to brush my teeth and get myself straightened away get a set list together and I gotta hit the stage at uh, 7 30 so I'll have about two hours in the hotel to chill out <laughs> we are a couple of tired cookies <laughs> we just drove well Denise did the driving we've been in the car since seven 25. Yes, this morning. And you might be thinking, hey, did we forget about Advent? No, we did not. No. We brought them with us. And we're going to do them right now. A suitcase, just for the Advent. That's right. So I will start with benefit. Going to box number three. And it says, watch your eyes light up. Let's see what it is. It is... It's potent. Why is that not focusing? I have this thing on autofocus and I'm trying to figure out. There we go. It's potent. No, it still doesn't want to focus. Anyway, it's the It's Potent eye cream. And maybe just I'll grab the Ciate. Ciate, day three. Right in the middle, there it is. See if I can get it open without destroying the whole thing. This says, life's too short to wear boring nail polish. Comical. Okay, I love it. I love these colors for summer. I just think it's hilarious that they're saying life's too short to wear boring nail polish. And inside that window, they're putting a little ballerina pink polish. And it is in the color Amazing Gracie. Very, very nice color. Oh, got to go fast. I see my battery's wearing out. Okay, number three yeah. on the oh, body no. shop. Right there, yeah. I always have a hard time finding the holes. <coughs> oh, something's jumping out at me. It hurt. Oh, pretty. It's it Oh, smells. it's a heart soap and it smells like honey. It's beautiful. Okay, quick, baby. Do your Lego. Day three. Uh, Day three. Where is it at? Day three. A little puppy. Oh, oh puppy. fire hydrant y thing. Yes. Cool. Yeah. I love it. With the bones. Okay, yeah. she'll make that. We'll show it later. There's Bruiser hiding under the table. Happy to be Those out of the car. We're all happy supper. to be out. Uh, this is our room, by the way. This is It's a suite, so there's a king size bed. And there's a TV in there, a TV in here. Oh, a little so. kitchenette. We'll do a little tour later. I'm going to shut you down now and get you charging. There she goes on stage. Now catch more video. I'll go around the other way. Hopefully there's more light. Going to the city in Waterford from New York City. Now, I'm, you know, the other thing I love about being here is that I could drive down 
And I knew once I got here, there wouldn't be any big elevator issues. I have claustrophobia. Anybody else here by show of hands, claustrophobia? How can you yeah. Stage? So you know it's what that means is crowd. small places uh, don't work for me. It's quite large now every time I tell the people. story, people think that I'm telling and a joke. I'm not telling a joke. Comments. This happened to me. Uh, I had a gig in Winnipeg. And I, you know, I flew up. Her name up on the I arrive at the screen. hotel. They tell me where I am. I'm on the and 36th floor. All the people that are in the so you know, elderly. I'm gonna have to see it. All the time on that friggin' elevator. This is the first kickoff. So I, I was like casing it out, trying to figure out some situation. I realized, hey, there's the four runner. elevators. And that means there's that, a good yeah. chance so, I could be alone. A little bit of this show. Because if I'm alone on the elevator, yeah. I'm fine. So I had gone to a conference, anyway, I did all I my work, very much, but, I came uh, home, it was I freezing to cold. Some footage so I threw on my big parka. Alright, what a day. It's done. Um, that's Mama Denise giving the baby some treats. Um, here, I'll show you since you can hear them. Here we go, treat time! Peppers? Treaty treats. Jesus, okay. Chopper gentleman. There. Oh yeah, yeah. chopper's eyes gentleman. All right, that was a long and crazy day, but you guys have been asking for a day in the life. That's what it's like when I'm working. And tonight, um, music acts were on before me, and they were saying this crowd's dead. Um, but I'm really happy with my performance. I felt they were a fantastic crowd. They definitely were feeling my comedy. I worked hard for it, and uh, it is now 20 to nine and Beer three. Time. Three beer, beer o'clock, champagne or uh, Chardonnay o'clock for me, but uh, we're about three and a half hours from my birthday, so we're going to order some room service, have a few drinks, and chill out. So this is it for us for tonight. We're going to sign off. We will check back in with you tomorrow. Thanks again for watching during these Vlogmas videos. Night.